Howdy folks, my name's Darren from RC Scale Models and today I have another kit. This one again now is from Mini Art. It's from Ukraine, so if you want to support them by helping them would buy their kits. Um, but we're going to take a look at this United States tractor with the winch. You do get the crew figures as well, so it's a little package ideal for uh, um, a diorama. Possibilities with this kit is endless. You can do it rusty. You can do it wartime like it is. You can do the video versions. Like I say, it's just an endless possibility. Well, it's 135 scale. Let's take a close look at this one. So standard boxing. Their boxes are not the best, but they will work. But their packaging is all in one bag as well, which is not the best as well. But they do it a certain way, hopefully, it doesn't get too damaged. Um, on this side, we have a kit number of 35225. We have a built up model by someone, which is a nice reputation. I do like the way they've done their tracks, it's like shiny silver wear, worn down, a little bit of rust and grime here and there. I think that looks a pretty good reputation of how they've done it. They've done it in the US Army version. This side, this side, standard mini art. I have had this kit for a little while. They do do release several kits in several different ways sometimes and they have started to release diorama packages and if you're looking for diorama stuff, mini art has tons of stuff in it. So it's a good uh, company to check out. Instructions, Loaded with plastic, everything is in one bag, so we'll take a closer look at that in a little while. So this is uh, their instructions. This is mostly, some, sometimes mostly the same, but they've done theirs this kind of way, slightly different. Um, so you open it up, you get a normal booklet type, very first section. So let's just zoom you in a little bit. So you, we've got all your sprue maps, everything, all your sprues, markings, a little bit of fellow etch, and then down the bottom we have the crew figure. So straight off the bat we are working with a nice detailed engine. We have this section here, I couldn't tell you what lots of it is on an engine, because I'm not sure, it possibly an oil pan, but we have loads of covers, nice detailed parts to go on as you're working your way through the engine. Tons and tons of detail for the engine. We have what looks like 20 steps just for the engine alone. More parts for the engine. We have some bracket parts. This looks like the firewall of the engine that I can, I can gather. More parts for the engine. Looks like the battery section. We have a little bottle on top, either for coolant or water, I'm not sure. Fan belts, radiator system, which is standard. This section here for the engine, this is a built up engine. And then we have, looks like part of the gearbox, radiator, which is here. Um, we have a couple, we do have a lot of levers, so you have to pay attention to here. Um, pipes, now it's part of the frame, um, no idea what this is for, this sits in the middle here, and then your, your engine sits on top of it all, which basically the main chassis of the tractor and engine, a little bit of wiring, you can make this look really really good, and now we have a couple of parts for the engine again, uh, looks like a little bulkhead, not sure, Here's part of your pedals, so this is possibly for your brake, clutch maybe, I don't know. And then we have more levers for the tractor, more parts for the tractor, more piping and attachment levers, more handles, levers, this is probably to do the winch now maybe. We have more support brackets. Diamond plating for the floor, 
Now we have looks like part of the suspension assembly, which has hit this section here. There is a lot of overlapping backwards and forwards, so you just have to be careful in the instructions. It is quite busy instructions they do these. We have the section of the back where you for towing. We have some cover plates. Now this section here is to do the winch I believe, that's what it looks like to me, so we have the sides, I'm not sure what these parts are, this is the actual winch section itself where the cable wraps around, um, it don't show anything about adding a cable, but I think you can have to work that out for yourself, unless this is moulded with a cable section attached to it, but it doesn't look like it is, because down here it looks like it is, but there's no where in the instructions telling you about wrapping a cable round so <clears throat> if you want to wrap a cable round to make it look much better you just have to figure that out for yourself because it doesn't really say instructions this I'm not sure what this is for but this section here will get attached to here we've got more levers for the winch brackets at the back this looks like a fuel tank possibly or is it part of your seat I know this looks like the seat as well because you've got some cushions and now we have the uh, chassis again but with the little running wheels so this section this section this section you work your way down and it is complex the wheels alone are not normally one piece or two piece these are like one two three plus the axle so there's four pieces just for little rollers and then you've got some more rollers which are slightly different which one two three four five plus the pin that's five pieces just for wheels alone it's, that's what I mean it's really detailed and complex the suspension again is one two three four five six seven eight eight pieces just for the spring assembly you got your, 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 your return roller is it or idler wheel I'm not sure but again that's like one two three four five six seven seven pieces really complex again the dry sprocket and stuff but again all of this detail you see here so everything you see on this detail for the running gear and stuff you have to repeat twice which basically is the same on this step here it's exactly the same but just repeated and once that's done your lower chassis, your two running gear sections, support brackets, uh, part of the radiator cover, front grille, looks like some more boxes, your seat goes in, it's kind of little bench seats or fenders, main plate over the top of the engine, a couple of lights, now your track assembly is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces just for the track alone, but you've got track pins. But just be aware how it goes together. So you have DC3, and then the pins are DC1, and then they overlap slightly, creating that effect. And then on top of that, you've got the actual metal plates of the track as well. It's calling out for 36 links, hopefully, or thereabouts, for each side. So again, two lots of that, a little bit of complex, it's just like a tank, it takes its time. Colour callouts, army version, standard. Olive green, this looks like a civilian version or construction version because it's in that yellowish colour. You like I say the, the endless possibilities for this kit is just endless. You can do it worn, beat up, factory finish, army, civilian, construction. It's just crazy. You get your free figures as well, US Army troops, uh guy filling the the tech truck up, the driver and Possibly an engineer, but all three of them are going to be engineers, probably anyway. Colour callouts Vallejo, Testers, Tamir, Humbrol, Ravel, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Colour, and basic colours for those would be black, olive drab, insignia yellow, uh, white, red, rust, brown, silver, and then the, the actual figure colours is black, skin tone, brown, olive drab, brown, uh, green, and grey. So all your preferred manufacturers just work your way through. I like that because they don't stick with one manufacturer, they give you a range of colours and manufacturers. No, no further ado, everything is in one bag. Just 
see what it's going to save this bag. So actually there's a little piece of plastics come off, that's why I don't like it in one bag. So I put that in the box carefully because I don't know what it go to. <coughs> you have a small bag with your figure. So it, sometimes there are bags in bags, which, which normally uh, I didn't think they would do. So let's take a look at these sections. So here's the very first sprue, we are looking at parts of the engine, everything else. So here's the engine block, small detail parts possibly for the engine, here's your part of your bench seat, this is underside of the tractor, this internal parts, your fan, fan belts, detail parts, very fragile piping, radiator system bulkheads this is part of the cover over the top of the engine front grille as you work your way along and superb detail even down to the uh, make of the engine this is caterpillar which is a very nice touch so nicely done there is a quite flexible soft plastic as well so just be careful with your sanding leaf springs Very nicely done indeed. So this one here we have loads of fine detail parts, you have to be super careful, especially all these parts here. And this is well done as well and you have to be super careful getting it off the sprue. So all these fine detail parts. loads of small little bits these are slide molded the way it's done at the bottom to get this shape now we have looks like transmission or gearbox parts up here more detail parts loads of levers again so there's that detail small detail parts there's some of that diamond plating for the the uh, floor in front of your feet, down by the pedals. Then we have this sprue here, is the chassis supports. This is the, the uh, little running running gear section where all the small wheels are. Supports. This is same section, gearbox, or transmission, possibly more support parts. So again. This is definitely not a beginner build, it's going to be a little bit complex. Here is the main frame, nice bolt detail. We have this tiny sprue, these are those covers at the bottom of the uh, tractor, covering the lower section of the engine and the uh, oil pan I think, that type of stuff. We have a couple of bags. I'll show you the figures. I ain't a figure painter, so I can't tell you if they're good or bad. But they do loads of different range of figures: civilian, military, um, army, soldiers. That's just endless. That they do a hell of a lot of range. So we have one crew figure here. This looks like the guy sitting down because he's got his legs bent. But I think they're they're good. I think they're good. We have these tabs, so they don't get nasty ejector pins. The faces don't look too bad. We have his hat separately. We have another figure. This is the one with the jerry can. So it's nice detail for the jerry cans. Like I say, they do tons of accessories as well. Mini art. There's his face. I think that's pretty good for plastic. And then the other figure. I think this is the other guy is just generally working. Pretty good.
So we have those. This looks like tracks. Four of them. Eight of these. Yeah. So there's a stack of eight of these, which is to do your tracks. So down the bottom are your pins. And then you've got your the actual track itself, which is where the pins slot light into, and then these pieces are the uh, actual track plates, if you want to call them that, on top. Very similar to World War One tank, where it's got those plates, and pretty much they're all caterpillars and like dozers, they all have kind of this very same similar track assembly. So this is to be quite grimy. And then this actual part is the actual plate that touches the ground. So this is to be the one that will be very shiny and metally. So there's eight of these. We have a stack of four of these, which is to do with the wheels. So these are those little wheels in between. I'm not sure what that's for. And then we have detail parts. So there's four of them. This sprue here. Looks like to do with the winch assembly because I reckon I, I remember seeing this and this and it is it is kind of branded and possibly how much weight it could probably be per pull not sure is it like 70 tons possibly I don't know anyone knows how, how powerful the winch would be on this vehicle uh, I would like to know there is that winch assembly section, the actual where the cable will sit, and there is no cable moulding, so you are going to have to uh, make your own cable wrap around it. Um, I don't remember seeing the end of the cable though, like the actual eye towing section. We have two of these, which are the rest of the assembly. So it is part of your uh, spring, it is slide moulded, and the rest of the spring this spring goes inside this and you have the rest of the attachment points this is your drive sprocket and the return roller is nicely moulded detailed and the last little piece in here is your clear lenses for your lights and tied with the color action and markings So here's your front of part. A couple of brackets. Your clear lenses. Basic markings, US stars, um, B4. Pretty cool. And you got the US and then this, the uh, tractor. Um, Serial number, possibly. So, very cool. So, there you are, my friends. Another kit from Mini Art United States tractor with the winch. So, yeah, pretty cool kit. As I say, the possibilities for this is endless. The way you could do it. Um, superb kit. I wouldn't recommend this for beginner at all. With the complex of the kit and the amount of parts, it could be a little bit frustrating for a beginner, especially to find detail parts. It's going to be very fragile when it's done, but once it's done, it, it's going to be an impressive kit to build. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.